Eyes to Tony Abbott, Ministers, Premier of Victoria, Leaders of Victoria, Friends, all the eminent people gathered here and our great cricketers. <laughs> this has been an extraordinary visit to Australia. We hosted a great G20 summit. It showcased Australia's global role. Congratulations. In the past four days, I have experienced everything that Australia is known for. Natural beauty, sunshine, great cities, friendly and cheerful people, and strength that have made you an economic force in the world. Prime Minister, you have been truly generous with your hospitality and warmth. I am deeply honored that you have come to Melbourne to host such a wonderful reception. Thanks a lot. This memory will stay with me forever. It's just my heart. I can tell you that not only me, but all Indians are deeply touched by this reception. Many Indians wake up early on a cold December morning to watch on TV, a boxing day. <laughs> <laughs> At this magnificent stadium, I know that India has not done particularly well in this ground. <laughs> but we won the 1985 Champions Trophy here and Gavaskar and Kapil Dev are here. <laughs> As is Lakshman, who especially loved to bat against Australia. <laughs> <laughs> to speak to you at the historic ground, comes close to scoring a century <laughs> especially against Margaret and Brackley. <laughs> this will be a deserving venue for the Cricket World Cup Final 2015. I hope that our two teams will play that match. <laughs> We can learn from Australia famous sporting skills in other areas. And we have decided to collaborate on a sports university in India. Yeah. It is said that Melbourne is the best city in the world to live in. Sydney might not agree. <laughs> India can learn from Australian experience and benefit from your expertise. I want to build a future 
when every Indian can say, yes, my life has improved and my environment has become better. I'm confident that we will achieve it with the support of the people of India. And through the talent and energy of 800 million youth below the age of 35, a successful India will be a vast opportunity and a force of good for the world. We look forward to closer partnership with friends like Australia. Prime Minister Abbott and I have spent a good part of this week together. I have also met the political leadership, business leaders and the vibrant Indian community. We have achieved a lot in the last few days on theme we all agree on. The bonds between the countries are made strong by joint hands of our people. So our exchanges in sports, tourism, education and culture are great source of strength for our relationship. I feel great confidence in the future of our relationship. My memorable visit to Australia ends tonight. But a new journey of our relationship has begun. Thank you. And hope you are coming to India soon. Thank you.